but was at a near record low in terms of percentage of expected, less than 30% of the average. Following a March, it was only about 20% of average. Here are the preliminary numbers, 72 tornadoes this month compared to a 10 year average of 234. And so certainly nowhere near the record 758 back in 2011 when we had all of those severe weather outbreaks. And Greg, why didn't we see as many tornadoes during this typically active period? Well, part of it was because of all those snowstorms, the cold air with that, it was below average temperature wise across much of the central part of the U.S. The southeast was average to a little above, it was warm in the southwest, but we don't typically get tornadoes this time of year there. The jet stream had something to do with it, though. The big dip in the jet stream here we call an upper trough. Normally, you would think that would be favorable for tornadoes in the Gulf Coast states where April is a prime time, but Typically that jet blasts right across the Gulf Coast states during April. So if you take the departure from average, there was actually a big gyre of clockwise spinning air that relates to higher pressure than normal and sinking air. So combine the coolness in the central with the sinking in the southeast, it meant fewer tornadoes.